Section 1.5 is titled Investments Involving Regular Payments. The future value of an investment involving regular payments can be found by determining the sum of all the future values of each regular payment. Here's the formula. The total future value, A, equals R times 1 plus I to the power of 0 plus R times 1 plus I to the power of 1 plus R times 1 plus I to the power of 2 and it continues until we get to r times 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1, where a is the future value, r is the regular payment, i is the interest rate per compounding period expressed as a decimal, and n is the number of compounding periods. Example, Sarah invests $250 per year into a GIC earning 5% compounded semi-annually, so twice per year, for two years. What is the future value of her investment after two years? So the interest per compound pounding period is going to be the 5% written as a decimal, so 0 0.05 divided by 2, because it compounds twice per year, so that equals 0 0.025. N is going to be two years times two periods per year, so that's going to be four. A, then, using our formula that we have on that last page, is going to be 250 times 1.025 to the power of 0 plus 250 times 1.025 to the power of 1 plus 250 times 1.025 to the power of 2 plus 250 times 1 plus 0 0.025 to the power of 3. Now 3 is equal to 4 minus 1 or n minus 1. So that's where we stop. After plugging all of this into our calculator, we get that the future the future value is going to be equal to $1,038.13. You can also use a financial calculator to help you with this. I strongly suggest doing so. There's one on the internet that you can use. There's also the financial calculator in a TI-83 that you can use.